Okay, in just a momento, um, I will start my vlogging in about five, four, three, two, one. So today is Black Friday and traditionally Black Friday is the time of year where the retailers get out of the red. They get in the black. So, speaking of Black Friday, a couple years ago, Black Friday was a lot different for me than it is this year. But what comes to mind about Black Friday is the whole financial situation and when you get married and when you get divorced. When I got divorced last week, I didn't really make out at all. Because, see, the thing is, is that you got to think deeply about who you marry because marriage essentially is legal identity theft. Yeah, it sounds pretty wild, but yeah, it is legal identity theft. As a matter of fact, I did vlog on this before, but my point of uh, this vlogging today is the whole idea of how Black Friday is different for me this year. And how Black Friday, for me, even last <laughs> Black Friday, it was different for me. But if I could emphasize anything, when you get into a contract with somebody that you love, I say quote, because that is probably another uh, vlog I'm going to do uh, later on. Because I, um, I'm trying to stay on point, stay on subject. So finances are kind of a sore subject, probably for a lot of people. A lot of relationships will totally get stressed out if the finances aren't properly managed or if one partner is trying to steal from you or actually has successfully stole from you. Like when you have ideas of what to do with your money, like for example, like in 2018, my wife totally uh, okay let me uh, back pedal a little bit so my wife at the time was very eager to have a bank account a joint account and she made sure as a as a matter of fact when I think about it it's pretty dark because she made sure that my finances were being being put into that account and I was depositing my money in that account my paychecks were being directly deposited into that account but then any turmoil any stress happened in the relationship and all of a sudden she like right when that deposit hit that account she freaking took it out and I wasn't able to pay my bills, I wasn't able to do anything to make sure that my um, bills were paid. And uh, when that happened, I, um, had a, I had to change my direct deposit. I had to change it. Because she showed me her true colors by taking all the money out and not leaving me anything. So, when you share finances, um, you must really, like, up front, like, when you're starting to get serious, I mean, they joke about checking credit scores and all that stuff, man, that's why two years minimum before you tie the knot, because that way you can see how they handle the money, they can see how you handle the money. You, you can see how you handle different like events when you go to different events together um, you know who's going to pay for dinner or who's going to pay for a date do you uh, do dates like you know one person pays for their share and the other person pays for the uh, one share or, or all those different things that happen that are very important to, to come to a conclusion in the beginning when it comes to the finances that's like when you think about being in the red, like the retailers, all year long, 
supposedly they don't sell as much as stuff uh, during the year but when it comes to the last two months of the year that's when they start to have sales and that's when they start to be in the black after being the red because I can't imagine running a business is probably pretty crazy when you have to think about the overhead when you have to think about all that stuff it's like in a relationship you have to think about the overhead of a relationship the cost for for gas the cost for food the cost for you know if you're going to go get a coffee if you're going to just go for a walk and it's not about being stingy with your money it's about being wise with your money because you only get a certain amount of money and if you don't use it properly then um (laughs) <laughs> you're going to be in debt and you're going to be struggling when when you have to pay bills and all those things so when you're um, thinking about like how Black Friday was different for me before because I totally was ripped off because we had him in our tax return she took the whole tax return the last um last year of our relationship was 2020 and that year was terrible for me because we all know what happened that year and I was in the medical field I mean I still am in the medical field but think about it if you're in the medical field and you go through all that crap just to have your tax return deposited somebody's account and they keep the whole thing and on top of it my California rebate went into that same account and I'm not getting any of that money back because she just got me really good, you know? So, um, I hope I'm making a little bit of sense to you because I know that uh, this has been very hard, you know? Because when you work really hard for your money and then you have somebody, you, you have a contract with somebody and that somebody doesn't even value money, and then they constantly tell you that you're doing things the wrong way because for some reason I I had like a a 700 and something credit score at the beginning of the relationship and now it's like less than it's like minus 100 so I'm over exaggerating a little bit because I was able to rebuild my credit the last um, three years to get it back on track and hopefully if I just kind of use my uh, my my um, money wisely from this point on I could totally have a lot of success with rebuilding my credit and having um, the right uh, f- mindset when it comes to money because even um, you know you you hear, hear people quote scripture and they say oh it's uh, it's money is the root to all evil no, it's not. Money is a tool. Money is neutral. Money is is really there to buy and sell and to have a currency so you could um, buy goods and services and all that stuff. And when you think about um, that scripture, it's not it's not the it's not money is the root to all evil. It's the love of money that's the root to all evil. So you know, just have a better mindset about. Uh, when you jump into something like that like relationships and marriage and all that stuff because yeah, don't don't try to have more than one chance just try to be be wise from the jump